Hi, this is Galaxy Girl. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we are going to be working on a really simple leaf destroyer. <laughs> so, the purpose of this leaf destroyer is so that we can get some saplings. And yes, you can do it the old fashioned way. You can cut down the tree, all of the leaves will fall off the tree, um, disintegrate over time, and give you saplings. This is a faster way. What I do is I like to prune my trees. So I prefer to keep my tree leaves separate from the trees next to it. And the reason why I do this is because if I just decide to cut down one day one tree instead of all the trees, then this the leaves that are surrounding the trunk of the tree are going to disintegrate. If you leave the leaves connected, as long as the leaves are connected to each other that are and then they're connected to a trunk, they're always going to stay there. So this way the leaves will disintegrate, I'll get the saplings. Um, when I'm pruning the trees, I always end up with a lot of extra leaves here. And most of the time, I like to take it over to my compost bin and compost the leaves because I don't usually need anything that's gonna come out of them. So I'll show you an example here. What happens is it goes into the composter, composter fills up and gives us bone meal. So, I usually do that with the leaves. The two exceptions that I've made so far are for the jungle leaves and for the dark oak um, trees because I really enjoy getting dark oak saplings to plant more of these larger trees and the jungle ones, the jungle biome is so far away right now from where uh, I am and these are very limited resources here. Um, I'm, I'm on a very short supply of jungle saplings. I don't think I have any left. I'll have to go check. But I'd like to build a tree house one day with the jungle sapling trees um, when the jungle saplings turn into trees. So I only have one more sapling left and then that's it. And for some reason, whenever I destroy their leaves, I don't get as many saplings as I would like. I think I started out with four. Now I'm only down to two trees and one sapling left, which is, well... I guess three trees because I've planted a sapling here. So let's try to take some of these leaves down. And we're going to use them in our leaf destroyer. Uh, the leaf destroyer, I call it the leaf destroyer, but um, it's made with pistons. So what you're going to need for this project is an open space. And I like to do it horizontally instead of vertically. But you can build this leaf destroyer against a building if you like. It's just easier for me if it's horizontal. You're going to need some oak blocks, which I don't have at the moment. I'm going to go grab them. They don't need to be oak. It's just oak is like the most accessible wood for me at the moment. So it, I usually use oak. As many pistons as you want. I tend to stick around to, uh, I tend to stick to around to five and uh, some redstone dust and a lever. And what we're going to do is we're going to lay the pistons down. So they're all facing the same way. And what I mean by that is that the wood panel is facing together so you don't want to have a mixture of wood on top wood um box on the side you want all of the wood panel to be facing the same way because what's going to happen is when we attach the electrical red dust system to this redstone dust it's going to shoot these out as a piston and break the leaves down the next thing you want to attach is the lever and i usually like to put my lever on one end and it's kind of out of the way so what i'll do is i'll lay the leaves out Put the lever, turn the lever switch, and it breaks the leaves. But you can see that right now the lever is only connected to the first piston, which is a bit of a problem. So that's where the red dust comes in. It connects the circuit. And normally, what we would do in a normal case is we would lay these down so it connects to the rest of them. But you can see that when you lay the redstone dust next to the base of the piston, it doesn't end up working. So we need to connect the redstone dust to the sides of the piston. And to do this, we'll have to lay down the oak blocks. So right now this lever is connected to the side of the piston. Now this red dust is connected to the side of the piston. I think that's how it works. And if we lay another leaf down and hit the switch, you'll see that all of the leaves are now destroyed. And if we're lucky, we'll get a jungle sapling or we'll get a sapling of our choice, whatever leaves we're laying down. So that was lovely. So I'm going to place some more leaves down. And you can see it takes a lot less time than if we were to lay leaves down by hand and then just break them by hand as well. So the idea here is you lay the leaves down quickly, 
hit the switch and we get whatever pops out of the leaves. So no more saplings. But at least we got one coveted jungle sapling. That is awesome. Thanks for watching. Bye.